What's going on my people? It's your boy Jeff, the Master Barber. In this edition, I'm just gonna be showing you the mobile barbershop that I had back in 2016. This is me, how I used to look inside cutting hair. I had a plasma TV, 45 inch plasma TV. I had the X bar, swivel seats. I had a pull out sink. Obviously I had the barber chair. Uh, I'm gonna start from the back and the back what I had, it was, this is the, the main heart of the energy where everything, how all the electricity, how it worked out on my van. It was a 2010 Mercedes Sprinter, uh, the 2500 loan base. And I had a 3000 watt inverter, right? And that inverter had, it was connected to six uh, different Marines battery. And uh, with the alternator, I had two switches. Uh, that way I could switch from either the alternator to the generator and the generator also that was another way that I could run the whole entire uh, mobile barbershop right and um, not only that but also could charge the the batteries while I was using the generator I could charge the battery and uh, this one it was 3000 watt and it run everything perfectly fine um, not only that but I also had a, a a fan right there so that way if any heat or whatever in that little closet where I had all the electrical so it, it will keep it nice and cool cool uh, next to it I had a bathroom next uh, and the other door I had a bathroom with a toilet and everything and then like I said I had a fan so that way if any fumes or any heat it would have suck it out uh, but yeah that that inverter pretty much uh, used to charge the battery from the alternator or from the generator. The generator was a Honda 3000 generator, uh, 3000 watt generator. And I had professionals do the video for me, you know, they're the one that did the whole everything in there. Then um, also I could run it if I didn't want to use the generator, all the batteries, all the running it like that, uh, I could plug it in to an outlet and it will work just as well. But yeah, it was a 2010 Mercedes Sprinter and then the inside, when you come in, you can see right here under the chair, I have also them to install the, the Xbox. At that time, remember 2016, I put uh, the Xbox, the swivel seats, so that way two people could wait while I cut somebody. So easily I could fit three people or Three people, one could be getting a haircut and two be waiting. Or if it has a girlfriend and a kid or whatever, or the, or the wifey and another son, they could easily put there. Then I, I did the windows. I put the windows. Um, I, I have them put the windows, the, the shades. And then I have the smart TV, a 45 inch uh, t uh, plasma TV. And, um, it had everything. I had an internet, a modem. So everywhere that I went, it had it had internet. I put the great high roof floors. I have them put the great high roof floors. And then to the back, oh, uh, I had someone, a carpenter. Uh, well, he, he used to uh, specialize doing builders and, and stuff like that. He did my, my dresser for the way I sketch it out the way that I wanted to to have the you know the 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 desk the barber desk and then in the front also I have the other car the auto sound dealer to put like the electric work the window shades you know I bought all the you know about the shades about the lights about everything and then I brought it either to the carpenter or the auto auto sound place to to connect everything how I want and you know the, do the window frames so that way it will not leak any any light from outside and vice versa. But yet um, the reason why I had the shades I wanted to look nice and fancy and clean and easy to use and so that way if we were at the beach or at the, uh, his house and but he didn't want to feel claustrophobic, you know, he, I could raise the, the shades easily and, you know, he'd be able to look, look his surrounding when getting a haircut. I uh, have the barber pole. I had the, 
the outlets so plenty of outlets and then also by the outlets they had those usb um in case if they need to charge the phone the client forgot to bring the base at least i have the usb um right there i have that slot right there so that way i could put like from the bottles of spray or or the barber side so when it move you know it didn't go nowhere i have also the hot towel machine right there so yeah about the hot uh, in the bottom it was the trash where i put the trash and and i had space to put all the other stuff too um i have more plugs as you could tell plugs up there you know so plugs everywhere and then i had the idea to have a pull-up sink and i have also i'm gonna show you guys right here this was the the, the barber chair that i had at that time and the pull-out sink, it was basically so that way I didn't have the climb didn't have to move, I didn't have to move. And you know, you pull the, the sink like that. And then right here, let me I'm doing it with my with my own hand, everything. So bear with me, right? Boom, right there. So this is how it look. The client be reclined there where I, you know, clean his hair, whatnot. And it was it was a beautiful thing. The guy who did the beautiful me, who did the station, the, the, the station passed away two years ago from a brain tumor. I was lucky enough that, that he was, I was able to work with him on this. He was excited just as me uh, when I tell him the idea that, that I was trying to do. But yeah, they had the plasma TV, it has the, the swivel seat, so the chairs, I utilize everything, you know, from the space. So that way they could like, and then the privacy too. I have privacy windows in the front. I kept them nice and shut. Like whatever the client want. If the client wanted to keep them open, I open it. But if they want to be really privacy, private, you know, all around. I kept them nice and smooth and, and flowing everything equally. But this was a, a great experience. I sold that back in 2018. I had this idea back in 2010. And then in 2016, that's when I bought it. I put the LED lights and then it has the AC from factory. So that's one thing that I that I liked. Because when it was hot, if you didn't have no AC, trust me, you will <laughs> you will burn. Uh that was a, a vacuum. So it will pick the hair. So I sweep it up and I didn't have to bend my back to to sweep the floor automatically the minute that I finish cutting hair I sweep it up under there and it pick it up just just perfectly just fine you know what I mean and um, yeah so it has a vacuum it has the hot towel machine it was a pull out sink it has the uh, a cooler I put a cooler so everything I buy all the you know the cooler the sink the vacuum and then uh, I made a drawing that I was like, okay, I want it like this, like this. And then the guy did it. Uh, carbon oxide, because remember in the back, I had a generator running at time. So I wanted to make sure that I was saving my clients, that there was no fumes or anything leaking into over here, into the side over here. Um, then I had the little meter that let me know how much battery I was using. I had the barber, barber pole, so it will give the touch of Obviously, that it was a mobile barber shop, that it was a barber, right? I pulled two of them, one uh, one in each corner. And also in this side too, that has the, the plugs and the USB-C cable, I mean the USB-C slot. So it was it was very, it had everything, like a, like a barber shop, if not more, because it was very convenient, you know what I mean? I used to go different places to cut hair, and when I used to do, I used to go for maybe his, uh, for for a client and I end up sometimes doing the, the brother, the father, the cousin, end up new, doing new clientele. And it was just all for me because I was the only one in the mobile barbershop, right? So, and because I was giving an exclusive service, I was making extra, extra money. Uh, the texture of the window frame, I told the guy that I wanted kind of to match up the inside of the van and and he did a marvelous job he did an awesome boomers auto sound located in nashua new hampshire um they're still there 
if I, I'm thinking to do my second mobile barbershop, and if I do, definitely I'm gonna go back with them again. But the Buter, it was made by the carpenter, and he's no longer uh, in earth. So hope uh, he's in heaven, watching uh, all his marvelous work that he did. Right, rest in peace, this guy. And uh, but yeah, uh, at the the space. It was just plain, you know, a lot of a lot of plenty of space. And then the way when I was done and it was time for me to that I done cutting hair, then I used to move the, the chair like that. Right. Boom. And that's how it looked. And then the other one, same scenario, you know, move it around. So I utilize every little thing from the Xbox in the bottom to the swivel seats. It had backup camera. It has the AC. Uh, this van had it all. And I was I was so happy with it. The reason why I sold it, it was because at that time my channel uh, Jeffrey El Barbero Master, it was growing up, it was growing big, and and I needed a little bit more space and to put the cameras and all that. So and I wanted to focus more and to do tutorials, stationary and whatnot. And then at that time I was like, let me just buy. Uh, with the money that I, when I sell the, the mobile barbershop, I could buy the cameras and the equipment to do the studio, the recording studio. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, this is how it looked, uh, the windows, right? The privacy window, when you move it to the side, it looks like that. So it was nothing, it, it, it was that window privacy it was alone. It was like almost 700 bucks, that system. But what I like about it is that once you, it was time to go, you put it like that, you strap it up, and and by the frame it looked like it was, you couldn't tell the the that it had like, you know, that system. And um, same thing, I tucked in everything like that. Same thing with the window, and you know, it's a beautiful experience. It it, it really was building this mobile barbershop. Uh, well, I recommend anyone to do it if you have your clientele or if you want to be on your own uh, and you don't want to go to a barbershop, I, I definitely recommend it. You still, it, it, it all is going to depend from you. You know what I mean? How bad you want it. Uh, like I said, it had a backup camera so I could see whenever I'm back, I was backing up, I, I was able to see what was going on. Like I said, I had the 45 inch plasma TV, I had the AC, everything, everything. It was just when you got in there, all my clients, they they were surprised. They were just amazed how the idea that I had from 2010, how they how you know it came out a reality. But if I could do it, definitely you guys could do it too. Um, you know, it takes money to make money, but if you're afraid to to take that step, you never know how good it could the idea could come to reality. But yeah, if I, I recommend someone to do it, yes, go for it, man. I, I did it. If I if I if I did it, you could do it. And if you believe it, it you could achieve it. You could you could get it done too. But yeah, this is this was my my beautiful mobile barbershop. Like I said, it was a 2010 Mercedes Sprinter. And actually the van, it was in great condition. As you can see, it was pretty big, but it was real nice, six cylinder diesel. And then that's when I had the studio here and I was like, I gotta build my studio. So that way I could do tutorials and all that. So I had the mobile, at that time I had the mobile and I had also my shop, you know? I have the, the, the best of both worlds. I had it right there and um, but now I'm still in my right here at the shop that's in my garage and it's been beautiful. I don't regret not, nothing at all. Everything has been working perfectly. God has been good to me all the time. Keep blessing me with more than what I expected. So if he's done it with me, he will do it with you. Just be grateful with what you have. Like I said, this is me, how I used to look inside cutting hair to my clients or whatever, you know, look at the, all my all the stuff, the hairspray. I used to sell hairspray, gels, or the stuff that I use in the client. So I was just, you know, like a little entrepreneur, you know, not only cutting hair, but selling product 
And this is how my client, you know, when I used to cut hair from this angle, look at him looking at the TV, the movie. When I cut hair, it was well lit, you know? Look at all the lights all around. I mean, this this mobile barbershop, definitely everything that I had in my imagination, it came to a reality. If you like this video, if you made it to this point, I recommend you to give a thumbs up. That will help me very much. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, But yeah, thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Jeff, the Master Barber. Peace.